has arrived in the Oregon country, and aren't we lucky that sunshine continues to rule our days. Hi there, Grant McComey here, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week, we head to Northeast Oregon, where sunshine definitely rules the days, and we go aboard a unique railroad. Come on along. We're heading along the Grand Ron River, where the cars don't roll. <laughs> The view from the Mount Howard Tramway is a marvel, just like the glance to the Eagle Cap Wilderness or down to Wallawa Lake. All of it confirms what you might suspect. If you visit Northeast Oregon, you may never want to leave. Folks have felt that way about Wallawa and Union counties for over a century, especially after the railroad made the journey easy in the 1800s. The folks of Elgin, Oregon hold on to that heritage, and today they make you feel right at home. All aboard! When you step aboard the Eagle Cap Excursion. Look good on the roll by. Good on the roll by. Dave Arnold is the engineer at the controls of the GP7 diesel electric. I enjoy the view. I get the best seat in the house. He says the engine produces 1,500 horsepower and runs on the historic Joseph Branch Line that was built in 1884. It's never the same trip. I think just being outside and seeing what's been a historic line, it compares well with some of the most beautiful branch lines of its kind. The Eagle Cap Excursion is a one-of-a-kind rail trip where the Wallawa and Grand Ronde Rivers are always by your side. It's also a railroad saved from ruin by locals who believe there was value in holding on to their heritage, so they bought the railroad in 2003. This is the only line in the West, or really throughout the country, that has a substantial portion of the line being in roadless terrain, where there is no opportunity to see this countryside except from the train. The Eagle Cap excursion train runs a little over 40 miles. Scenery spectacular, nostalgia is cool, but the best part, we get to go where the cars don't roll. The River Canyon is a roadless stretch that gives you little choice but to slow down, take a deep breath, and savor the journey. This is just all about being in nature and seeing wildlife, especially if a family comes and turns off all electrical devices. <laughs> that's particularly fun. The train tops out at 15 miles an hour, and that's okay, says local photographer Eric Valentine. He's a pro who has built a career out of capturing the splendor of sights in his own backyard. It strikes me that you could turn 360 degrees oh, yeah. and never get and a bad shot yeah. here, huh? Well, that's very true. Just look down here at the river. You've got that, the white of that rapids. You've got the texture and the shape of that rock with green grass growing on it. The possibilities are endless. It's also possible that this is a perfect getaway for folks who think they've seen it all in Oregon and yet believe that surprises can be the best rewards. We have all the details, directions, contact information so you can make your own adventure in the Grand Ron River Canyon right here on the Travel Oregon website. So be sure to check it out. Until next week, do get out here, explore the great Oregon outdoors. Let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey. Thank you.